Hey everyone, Xanagir here. Fan of Abyss is a new roguelite first-person platformer developed by Team Wibby, published by Devolver Digital, and if anything I said just now gets your brain going, then I highly recommend checking it out. I'll preface this guide by saying this video was posted during the first two weeks of Early Access launch, so all information will change quickly, but I will do my best to release updated guides in a timely fashion. So make sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss any updates on the game. This game's upgrade systems can be a bit confusing for a new player, but I wanted to break down exactly how they work so you can get an inferno clear much quicker than you would have trying to piece it together yourself. To start, I'll explain how the level structure works. There are three zones, Temple, Caverns, and Inferno. Each zone consists of three levels, with one optional fourth level containing a relic. The catch is doing that fourth level and collecting the relic will end your run. These relics will be important in a minute, so hold on to that thought. Whips. Whips are everything in this game. There are three different tiers of whip, and they're color-coded to match the zones that you'll need to go to to upgrade them. Green, blue, and red. Temple, Caverns, and Inferno. Each whip has a positive and negative effect. The permanent upgrades in this game come in the form of blessing a whip's negative effect, removing it. You bless a whip by collecting a relic in the fourth level of the zone that matches the color of the whip. So to restate that in simpler terms, if you equip a green whip with the negative effect standing in water takes damage, you beat the fourth level of the first zone and get the relic to bless that whip, making it simply better. Now it may all seem fine on paper, you get all the relics and then you have the best whip in the game but that's not the case. You may be able to bless the whip, removing the negative effect permanently, but keeping the actual whip in your hand is another story. Once you die in a run, which you will, you lose that whip until someone else is able to collect a relic in a zone further than you in your seed. This can be expedited by sharing your level code, or you are able to buy it back using keys found in that zone. This system creates situations where you might need to clear all the way to the final zone just to get that whip you love using so much. I know that the developers are going to be updating this game a lot since I personally feel that they have something very special on their hands, so I will stick with it and update you all on YouTube with patch notes, guides, and my best runs. If you're coming to this video after watching my Spelunky guides, I highly recommend picking this up and trying it out. If you found this because you needed help in your own runs, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in future videos. Thanks for watching.